Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss how to write a Python program to verify given number is spy number or not. So what you need to do, they will give a one number and you need to verify it is a spy number or not. If it is a spy number, you need to display the output as the given number is spy number. Else you should say the given number is not a spy number. Now, if you want to verify a given number is spy number or not, you need to know what is a spy number. First, let me define what is a spy number. The spy number is a number if the sum of all the digits is equal to product of all the digits. This is what the a definition of a spy number. Now look at here what it is saying. A number is said to be a spy number if the sum of all the digits is equal to product of all the digits. If you say digits then maybe you will get confused. Let me write individual digits. Okay. Now let me discuss with a simple example. I am taking 1412. Now what are the individual digits in here? 1, 4, 1, 2. Okay, what they are saying? If the sum of all the individual digits, so what is the sum? 1 plus, look at here, 1 plus, 4 plus, 1 plus 2, which is how much? Which is 8. Are you able to understand? 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. Similarly, if you compute the product of all the individual digits, what is that one? 1 into 4 into 1 into 2 which is how much? 1 into 4 is 4, 4 into 1 is 4, 4 into 2 is 8. So sum is equal to equal to product or not, you need to verify. What is the sum? 8. Is equal to 8 product? Yes. Then I can say it is a spy number. The given number 1412 is a spy number. Now let me take one more example. 132, 132 we will take. What are the individual digits here? 1, 3, 2. Okay, compute the sum of individual digits. 1 plus 3 plus 2, which is how much? Is 6. Compute the product of all the individual digits. The product is how much? 1 into 3 into 2. 1 into 3 is how much? 3. 3 into 2 is how much? 6. So what is the sum? Sum is 6. What is the product? Product is also 6. Then you can say 6 is equal to 6. You can say it is a spy number. Now let me take one more example. 1, 4, 3. Okay. Compute the sum of the individual digits. Sum of the individual digits is 1 plus 4 plus 3. Which is how much? 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. Compute the product of it. Product of individual digits is 1 into 4 into 3, which is equal to 12. So now what is the sum? 8. What is the product? 12. Is 8 is equal to 12? No. Then you can say not a spy number. Okay, not a spy number. So this is the way you need to find the logic. Okay, what according to the definition, I have found the logic. Now what I need to do, I need to write a Python program to verify a given number is spy number or not. To do that one, first I need to ask the user to enter the number. Once the user has entered the number, I need to read it and I need to store it in the variable called n. So that's why I'm writing input function. Input function or input method will be useful for you to read the input from the user. An input function will return a string, but the number should be converted into an integer. So that's why I'm doing the type casting. So you enter the number. Then what you need to do, you need to take the sum is equal to 0, product is equal to 1 initially. Okay, then what I need to do, I need to write while n not equal to 0. If n not equal to 0, I need to perform certain steps. What are the first step? I need to find the individual digit. So to do that one, what I will write, so reminder rem is equal to n modulus 10. Then I will write sum is equal to sum plus rem and then product is equal to product into rem. Let me write the entire program then I will discuss what is the meaning of it. Okay, product is equal to product into rem. 
then you will write n is equal to n floor division 10 then finally you will write if sum is equal to is equal to product then you can write print okay let me store somewhere here temp is equal to n okay and then i will write temp comma is a spy number is a spy number else i can write else i can write statement called print temp is not a spy number is not a spy number now let me save the program and then let me compile and run it okay as it is a python we need to just interpret it so i will click the run button and then it is done now enter the number 1412 just now we have discussed 1412 is a spy number see i got the output as a spy number similarly 132 okay or 213 anything 213 it is a spy number similarly i will enter 143 143 is a spy number or not let me see 143 just now theoretically we have discussed it is a spy, not a spy number so this is the way you can write a python program to verify a given number is spy number or not for better understanding what i will do i will take a, a number okay ha having 1412 just now we have found that it is a spy number now let me trace this program and how it will work we will verify temp is equal to n so whatever the user has entered is stored in a variable n and that variable you are assigning to the temp so temp is having the 1412 and sum you will have the initial value 0 product you have the initial value as 1 okay then while n not equal to 0 so this is the condition what is the condition n not equal to 0 what is the n value 1412 1412 is not equal to 0 yes the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the while loop need to be executed what is the first statement rem is equal to rem is equal to n modulus 10 what is the n value 1412 what is the modulus operator will give you the modulus operator will give you the reminder what is the reminder you will get two so that value you are assigning to the variable called rem so rem is having the value two then what you have written sum is equal to sum plus rem sum is equal to sum what is the sum value initially zero plus rem is having the value what two so zero plus two is two so sum is getting the value two then product is equal to product into rem what is the product value 1 initially into rem is having value what 2 so 1 into 2 you will get the 2 here so product is getting the value 2 then n is equal to n floor division 10 okay what is the floor division will do it will give you the quotient so n is equal to n1412 floor division 10 will give you the quotient which is 141 if you are writing the same program in other programming languages such as C, C++, Java, then you need to use n is equal to n division 10. But in Python, if you use division 10, then it will give you, suppose if I write 1412 division 10, then it will give you 141.2. Okay, so that's why we are using the floor division. In other programming languages, you will write n is equal to n division 10. So n is having the value 141 okay it will be updated then again all the statements are done so again you will verify the condition what is the condition n should not be equal to 0 what is the n value 141 141 not equal to 0 the condition is true if the condition is true again the statements which are there in the while loop will be executed what is the first statement rem is equal to n modulus 10 what is the n value 141 modulus 10 will give you the remainder as 1 so rem will have the value 1 so sum is equal to sum plus rem sum value is how much 2 what is the rem is having the value 1 so 2 plus 1 will be 3 so sum is having the value 3 product is equal to product into rem product value is how much 2 rem is having the value 1 so 2 into 1 is 2 so still the product is having the value 2 only then n is equal to n Floor division 10.
what is the n value 141 141 floor division 10 will give you the coefficient as 14 so n value is updated to 14 again you will verify the condition n not equal to 0 what is the n value 14 14 not equal to 0 the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the while loop will be again executed rm is equal to n modulus 10 what is the n value 14 14 modulus 10 will give you the remainder as 4 so rm will have the value 4 then sum is equal to sum plus rem what is the sum value 3 plus what is the rem value 4 so 1 plus 4 is how much or 3 plus 4 is how much 7 okay sum is having the value 7 here then product is equal to product into rem what is the product value 2 2 into rem is having the value 4 so 2 into 4 is 8 so sum is having the value 7 product is having the value 8 then n is equal to n floor division 10 what is the n value 14 14 floor division 10 will give you the quotient as 1 okay so n will get the value 1 again you will verify the condition because all the statements which are there in the while loop are done then again if you want to execute you need to verify the condition what is the condition n not equal to 0 what is the n value 1 1 not equal to 0 yes the condition is true if the condition is true again the statements will be executed rem is equal to n modulus 10 1 modulus 10 will give you the remainder as 1 so rem will have the value 1 so sum is equal to sum plus rem what is the sum value 7 what is the rem value 1 so 7 plus 1 is 8 so sum is having the value 8 product is equal to product into rem what is the product value 8 into rem is having the value 1 so 8 into 1 is equal to 8 so product is 8 then n is equal to n floor division 10 what is the n value 1 1 floor division 10 will give you the coefficient as 0 so n value will be updated to 0 then again you will verify the condition n not equal to 0 what is the n value 0 0 not equal to 0 this condition will be false if the condition is false the statements which are there in the while loop will not be executed the next statement will be executed what is the next statement if you have a condition what is this condition sum equal to product what is the sum value 8 what is the product value 8 is 8 is equal to 8 yes the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the if block will be executed what is the temp what is the temp is having 1412 is a spy number so this is the output you will get if you have a doubt let me run the program and give the input as 1412 okay see you got the output as 1412 is a spy number if you still have any doubts related to this concept i hope you have understood how to write a python program to verify a given number is a spy number or not you can use this logic to write the program in other programming languages such as c c plus plus java if you still have any doubts related to this concept don't feel shy Try to ask the questions in the comment section or in the Instagram. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.